Hi, my name is Liza Stratton and I'm a Senior Youth Development Coordinator and Camp Director for the Pineland Branch of the YMCA of Southern Maine. Um, I'm going to show you um, an, another fun doodling game that I like to play that's um, called Scribble Creatures. So for this game you're going to need some blank paper, um, a pencil, and then some coloring material so you can color it in after and, and finish the picture. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to use your pencil to cover the whole page with some big curly scribbles. You don't want to do little tiny um, little tiny crazy pointy scribbles because um, then the project won't really work. So you're going to just spend like four or five seconds making big crazy scribbles all over the page and you want to finish your line where you started it. So I'm going to go right back to where I started to finish. Um, so yeah, I have lots of big empty spaces, lots of big curls. Um, now my challenge is, is to fill, um, not to fill, to use these spaces that I've created with the scribbles to draw in little doodly animals. Um, they don't have to be animals, it could be people, it could be um, a monster that you kind of made up. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and I'll show you along the way. Um, so I see one here, very first thing, that kind of looks like a space with two really big ears. And when I think really big ears on something that's tiny, I think about a mouse. So I'm going to turn this space into a mouse. There, so I have my mouse, and now I'm going to try to find another one. Alright, I see one down here that kind of looks like it could be a, a snail. There, so down here you can see, you can see my snail. Um, with a big, big shell and then some big pokey outy eyes um, and a long slimy tail. Now I'm going to see if I can find something in these other leftover spaces. So I think I see um, part of an elephant right next to my mouse. So I'm just going to make my line a little thicker. Um, I'm going to use this as the elephant's ear. because then you can have a big trunk that goes way down here underneath the snail. Then I'm going to use this big piece right here to be some water spraying. There, so here's, here's my elephant right on top of my mouse. This is his ear behind his head, his eye, his mouth, his little tusk, and then he has a long trunk, and then the trunk is spraying a lot of water. So then you can just go ahead and continue to add more doodles and try to fill up your page um, using as many of the little scribble spaces as possible. Thanks for joining us today.